Hi, mathematicians. Thanks for joining back in for another math lesson. So we're going to do 16.2 today, converting hours and minutes. You're going to need your student reference guide, although I'm going to share my book with you. You're going to need your math notes, pencil, eraser, good place to write. OK, 16.2 starts on page 230 in your math book. Converting hours and minutes. Our vocabulary is going to be hours and minutes. You can abbreviate hours with just an H and minutes with just an M-I-N. Our objective for this lesson today is to change minutes to hours or hours to minutes. OK, let's look at the first example. It says convert hours to minutes. Jerry rides for two hours. How many minutes are in two hours? He's reminding us that one hour equals 60 minutes. So two hours. So two times six is 12. Two times 60 is 120. OK. Um, so there are 120 minutes in two hours. Guided learning. Number one, express the time in minutes. Jerry took three hours to do his homework. How many minutes are in three hours? And he's reminding us three times six we could do and then three times 60. That's probably the fastest way to get there. Three times six is 18. So three times 60 would be 180. So there are 180 minutes in three hours. Go ahead and turn your page to 231. It says convert hours and minutes to minutes. Matt plays basketball for one hour, 10 minutes. How many minutes are there in one hour, 10 minutes? So one hour and 10 minutes equals 60 minutes because that's an hour plus the extra 10 minutes, then add those 60 and 10 together, and that's you get 70. There are 70 minutes in one hour, 10 minutes. All right, guided learning continues with number two. It says express the time in minutes. Kevin's baseball game lasts for two hours, 30 minutes. How many minutes are in two hours, 30 minutes? So he's reminding us two hours, 30 minutes. OK, so separate the hours from the minutes. So two hours and then the 30 minutes. So two hours is going to be the 60 minutes plus 60 minutes. And then you've got the 30 minutes for the half. And then you just need to add those up. So 60 plus 60 plus 30. 150. There are 150 minutes in two hours, 30 minutes. Down to number three, express the time in minutes. Two hours and 45 minutes. Go ahead and think about that one for a second. Two hours and 45 minutes. So two hours would be 120 minutes plus the 45 minutes. And then you add the 120 and the 45 together and you get 165 minutes. That's for number three. Number four is four hours and 28 minutes. Remember to separate the minutes in the hours and then the other minutes left over. So four hours, how many minutes is that? You have to think 60 minutes times four. Six times four is 24. Got to add a zero, 240 minutes plus the other minutes that were left over the 28. So 240 plus 28. Figure out what is the total minutes. Add those together. 268 minutes. Go ahead and turn your page to 232. Convert minutes to hours and minutes. The example at the top. Marshall takes 135 minutes to mow the lawn. How many hours and minutes are in 135 minutes? 
she reminds us that one hour equals 60 minutes. So two hours would be 120 minutes. And three would be 180. She's checked the 120. 120, so 135 minutes equals 120 minutes plus 15 minutes. And 120 minutes equals two hours. So it's two hours and 15 minutes. There are two hours and 15 minutes in 135 minutes. Guided learning number five, express the time in hours and minutes. So 82 minutes, actually this has a little, quite a lot of computation on this one. This would probably be a really good time to pause me so that you can work through five, six, seven, eight, and nine, converting and expressing time in hours and minutes and then I'll share the answers with you right now. Okay, moving along, turn your page to two 33. It's a uh, let's play time bingo. Now I definitely re recommend playing this game. It's fun. It's like bingo, but it's just with time. Um, it would require a little bit of preparation since we're not in school to have this game ready. So I would save it for um, after math today if you have time or um, tomorrow when it's you can when you can play a math game or get caught up on your work. Um, it's a fun one. You just need um, like at least one other person and you'd have to make up some time cards and then you'd have to make up a little bingo sheet and then you'd have to have a caller and a couple of people trying to, you know, who can get more covered first. Um, that's a fun one. All right. The next page, page 234 is your let's practice. Let me share the screen with you again so you can see. There's your bingo game. So there's your let's practice. It's number one through nine. Um, it's pretty short, not a lot of writing. You can just write your answers down in your math notes. Um, and then your homework pages are gonna be in your workbook. It's page 147 to 150. And now would probably be a good time to pause me because I'm going to show answers to the let's practice and to the homework. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully this math is starting to make a little bit more sense, but we still have a ways to go. Here we go. Here are the answers. And here is the homework. All right, tune in next time for another lesson on time.